let us try to understand the meaning of human thought. Next slide please. Human thought refers normally to philosophy. Philosophy has its origin in Greek philos love of and Sophia wisdom. The term philosophy was used for the first time by Pythagoras according to historical records who lived between 570 and 500 BC. The end of wisdom for him is salvation in a religious sense. He categorizes men in three types, those who love pleasure, those who love activity, those who love wisdom. And if you look uh, critically and use comparative methodology, you will find that uh, in Hinduism for example, uh, they have various yogas, yoga of knowledge, yoga of pleasure, yoga of duty, yoga of uh, offering and so on and so forth. Uh, it is not just one area, but you go to any part of the world, they may have used their own terminology, but these aspects to classify human thought or human behavior is present. So, Pythagoras thought that three types of human thinking or feelings or experience can be categorized. People who are driven by pleasure, driven by activity, very dynamic, energetic and thirdly those who love wisdom and that means those who have a philosophical trend. Next please. The purpose of uh, uh, philosophical thought is in front of you is the slide that tells you that different known philosophers in their understanding considered that certain aspects are more important. For example, for Socrates seeking self knowledge conceptual clarity was the major purpose of philosophy. For Plato discovery of reality and absolute truth was ultimate truth, not just what is apparent truth. For Aristotle originating in wonder, a disciplined concern with the investigation of the causes and principles of things. Therefore, he uses first philosophy also called theology or first principles uh, or first uh, 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 suppositions. I am not going in details just, just to give you an idea about how various philosophical uh, thoughts have emerged and how we look on them uh, with reference to various known philosophers. Let us have a working definition of thought. Next please. Thought refers to both the process of mental activity and to its fruit. When I am thinking, then it is a process. When my thought is uh, formulated and I say, in my view, better life is where ethical principles are observed, then now this is a fruit of thought that I am saying, if you live ethically, it is a better life. It is also considered an interior dialogue employing abstract forms. When I am thinking, I do not have a, a whole a class of scholars in my mind sitting and debating, but I have ideas debating among themselves, a dialogue, a debate taking place, but it is an interior dialogue within my uh, brain and mind. So, images carrying reality in their own right are there. It is an effort to interpret metaphysical, universal and epistemological issues. Epistemology means theory of knowledge. Also arriving at different uh, conclusions by reflection. So, when we uh, want to talk about thought, it refers to both the process as well as the outcome of that process. Next please. Now, just a few examples, what do we mean by philosophical thought? Philosophical thought refers to intellectual pursuit in understanding origin and nature of universe, man, 
his objective and purpose in life and his ultimate destiny. It could be based on speculation or intellection. I do not have to open my eyes. I can keep my eyes shut, still speculate, think about it and then say I, 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 I believe this is true. Secondly, intuition, intuitive knowledge which is again an inner feeling. From inside I feel that something is right or wrong. A third is experiential knowledge where I experience certain things, I interact with people, I find out something is uh, good, something is bad and that is all my personal experience. Mysticism is personal experience and then religious and divine knowledge that comes through uh, a source which is known as Vahi or revelation and also in some cases inspiration. We will uh, uh, later on find out what is the difference between inspiration and revelation. 